Hi, if you like the video, please remember to subscribe. Hi, what we're going to be looking at today is the Garmin eTrex H handheld GPS personal navigator or sat nav as we probably like to use it. Um, the eTrex H is a new version of eTrex's entry level navigator. Um, really for hiking or sort of geocaching mainly I guess at this sort of price point of about £65. What they've done to improve their um, entry level model is add a high sensitivity GPS receiver which means that you get better GPS reception in um, areas like under trees, under foliage, between buildings, um, down in canyons, that sort of thing. So you're less likely to get a uh, get a, a loss of GPS signal. And I can well uh, um, uh, support this. I, I found that it even picks up a GPS signal accurate to about 17 feet inside my house on the bottom floor. So that's uh, so that's pretty good. So what what are you getting for your what are you getting for your for your sixty five pounds? And what why would you buy something like this? Because obviously the, the Etrex is a non mapping sat nav, so it can't have any maps in. Um you know, what what what's the point? Well obviously they're nice and cheap, is the first thing. So if you're just dipping your toes into the world of geocaching or you want a, a sat nav or something like that, then um you're not breaking the bank and if it doesn't work out and you don't really like it, well what the hey, you know, you can uh, you can move on. And if you do decide to you know, get a mapping handheld at a later date. You could always uh, chop it in, sell it on eBay because they go for a good condition ones, go for, for for a reasonable amount, and then get one of the mapping units. Um, and also, why would you buy it over something like using your in-car sat nav, which I've used before for geocaching? Well, the reason why I bought the Etrex H was because it was a good price. Um, it's a high sensitivity one, so I know it's gonna when I'm geocaching, it'll get me reasonably close, even if. Um, it's under trees and things like that. Um, I mean, I wanted a handheld device because I like the idea of having a dedicated unit that is waterproof. So if I drop it in a puddle, um, it's not going to fry the electrics. It's tough. You know, it's got a nice rubber case around it. Um, lots of rubber on the back here as well. So if I drop it, it's not going to break. Um, you can use it one-handed, which is uh, really nice when you're sort of wandering around. And I just wanted something that I could use for geocaching rather than my um, more expensive in-car sat-nav. You know, that the kids can use it as well and I don't have to worry about breaking it. And, and to be honest, if I really get into it and, uh, and I enjoy it, then, you know, I will go out and I'll, I'll get a mapping unit. Um, okay, well, let's start off by just talking about the specs. Um, in the Etrex H, you've got a high-sensitive GPS receiver. You've got uh, the, the built-in memory can hold 500 waypoints, so you can stick in 500 geocaches, or um, you can you can sort of make up your own map by putting in local points of interest, like your house and, and local landmarks. Um, uh, it can also have uh, it has got a 10,000 point track route. So what that means is when you when you're using it, um, it can record 10,000 points um, when you're going track back from somewhere, um, and uh, it'll last about 17 hours on a battery. Now don't worry, once you <laughs> if you do change the battery, which is underneath this cover, um, it does remember all those 500 waypoints. You don't have to put them all in, in again manually. It is however worth pointing out that it is a a uh, serial connector so you do need to buy if you want to connect to your computer one of Garmin's special leads which go for about £20 new no, which is quite expensive if you ask me so I haven't bought one yet okay let's fire it up and see how long it takes to get a warm lock so here we go got this little man doing his bit there's also a backlight as well which I'll, uh, I'll put on for you there we go as you can see it's waiting for satellites um, so what it's doing now is it's just listening out um, to the satellites and it's picking them up. I mean that's the simple view. If I want to, we can look at the different satellites there as it as it gets a tr gets a lock on them. So this is trying to get a lock inside the house next to next to a window. Ooh. Um, as you can see, it's a grayscale screen, so it's pretty clear. And as you know, you tap the light on it and it's much better. Um, there we go. Let's get back to the tracking satellite screen there we go as it's picking them up I haven't picked them up yet normal sky view as you see the way I'm navigating it around with one hand we have this button on the right hand side what that does is 
cycle between the different screens and then we have a select button on the bottom left and then we've got up and down buttons here buttons here so you can use that use that really easily um, here we go wait in tracking satellites it'll pick up the other one in a minute so we'll just quickly go through some of the options you can do so if I go into the track screen you can probably just about make out where we are which is in the middle and then if I zoom out what you can see just about is there's a few geocaches those little boxes that I've entered and the really light grey line that you can probably see is my track so as I've been wandering around over the last couple of days trying that you trace out and then that dark line that's the direction I've got to go in um, so that that's your track screen and then we this will come up with them with the compass the virtual compass with all these sort of devices because they don't have a built-in electronic compass you have to be moving for it to know which direction tell you to go in but it works really well and then we've got our, our odometer so um, uh, this is our trip screen so at the moment I've got it set up for how far I've gone what my next destination is uh, estimated time of arrival that sort of thing uh, but you can customise this to whatever you want so that's, that's quite easy and then we've got our mark screen so if you want to put in a new destination you need to go to first you have to mark it so you select it and then you would go down change the name and then using the edit screen you would go in and put in the uh, coordinates and once you put one in if you want to go somewhere you just look at your waypoints select waypoint say that one and then I just select go to and then we'll be off dead easy and that's it really for the Garmin e-tricks I, I, it's really done exactly what I wanted it to do um, I've been I've done several geocaches now and you know I haven't not had a lock anywhere when I've been um, when I've been using the device outside even under tree cover between between buildings and things um, it's it's a nice size you know it's chunky enough you want something chunky in your pocket so you know it's there so if you drop it you know about it I mean we've got this big lanyard to keep it safe which is really cool um, and you can use it for one hand I haven't worried about it if it's been raining when I've been out really really nice bit of kit only 65 quid from Amazon at the moment obviously look out for the H you want the high sensitivity one because that's the one that's going to um, give you the, the better satellite reception even in difficult conditions you know and I was a bit worried about the lack of internal memory and the fact that you can't put an SD card in but it hasn't really affected, affected me at all next thing I'll be getting will be the serial lead so that we can have a look at transferring things across directly from the computer but it only takes a couple of seconds to um, go to geocaching.com you know you get your get your details put your uh, put your latitude and longitude in you know and you're off and uh, overall really impressed I'm really glad I bought the Etrex H very nice bit of kit reliable probably from one of the best uh, satellite navigation companies in the world Garmin and I'm looking forward to using it a lot more over the next um, over the next few weeks and months right thanks for watching and uh, that's our review of the Garmin Etrex H GPS sat thanks for watching